Just like Express, Mongoose also has a concept of middleware. So in this lecture and in next few lectures, we are going to learn about some of the Mongoose middlewares. And let's talk about document middleware in this lecture. So we can use Mongoose middleware to execute some logic between two events. For example, let's say each time a new document is saved in the database, we can run a function between the save command is issued and the actual saving of the document. Or we can also run some logic using a Mongoose middleware after the document is saved. Now, this is just an example I am giving in case of saving a document. We can also use these middlewares for delete and update. Now, Mongoose middlewares are also called as pre and post hooks. That's because we can execute Mongoose middlewares before something happens or after something has happened. For example, again, in case of saving a document, if we want, we can run some middleware, we can execute some middleware logic before the document is actually saved. Or we can also run some logic after the document is saved in the database. And that's why, since we can define and run a middleware before or after a certain event, a middleware in Mongoose can be called as pre or post hook. So let's learn how we can create and use a Mongoose document middleware in our Express app. So here I'm in the movie.model.js file. Let's scroll down. And in order to use a Mongoose middleware, first we need to use movie schema so basically the schema on which we want to add a middleware and on that we can either call a pre method or we can call a post method okay so just like i mentioned earlier we can execute some logic before something happens for that we can use pre method and we can also execute some logic after something has happened so for example here i want to execute a middleware function before a document is saved in the database so here the event name will be save okay and then the second argument will be the middleware function which we want to execute so let's specify that middleware function and this middleware function is going to receive the next function basically we use this next function to call the next middleware okay so this middleware here it will be executed before the document is actually saved in the database now when will this save event happen this save event will happen whenever we call this dot save method or dot create method of mongoose from our express app so for example if i go to this movies controller.js file and if i scroll down here we are creating a new movie document for that we are using this create method so whenever this create method will be called the save event will happen in the same way wherever we are using this save method in that case the save event will happen but keep in mind that save event will not happen in case of insert many or for example we are also using find by id and update right so this method is not going to trigger the save event this save event it will only happen when we are calling the save method or the create method now inside this prehook inside this middleware function now i'm calling it prehook because this middleware function will be executed before the save event happens that means before the document is actually saved in the database so that's why it is a prehook so inside this let me simply go ahead and let me log this so when i say console.log this this here is pointing to the document which is currently being processed okay and this is the reason why this middleware is called as document middleware because in this middleware function we have access to the document that is being processed in this case we will have access to the document which is getting saved now to quickly test this let's go to postpen before that let me save the changes here okay and here from here we also need to call the next method otherwise the next middleware in this stack will not get called so let's also call next okay now let's save the changes let's go to postman and let me go ahead and let me open this create movie api so basically we are using this api we are using this endpoint and this post http method in order to create a new movie object and in order to save some time i have already defined a movie object here so i will simply copy it from here and i will pass it in the request body so we have learned that whenever we make a post request with the post request we also need to send some request body right 
and now if i go ahead and if i click on this send button a post request will be sent to create a new movie object so let me click on the send button and you can see the status is success and in the result we have received that movie object so basically the movie object name is john wick chapter 4 let's go to mongodb compass let's refresh the collection here and now we should have nine movie objects okay if i scroll down the ninth one is that movie object where the name is john wick chapter 4 and if we go to vs code there you will notice that that movie object has been logged there so when we are logging this here it is logging the movie object which we are trying to save in the database okay so here you can see the movie name is john wick chapter 4 so this is the document which is going to be saved in the database and this is how it looks just before it is being saved in the database and at this point if we want we can still act on the data before it is saved to the database and we can make some changes to this data from this pre-hook from this pre-middleware so what i want to do here is here i want to add a new field to this document which we are saving in the database and i want to call that field maybe created by so here i will say this dot created by okay and i want to assign this created by field with the user who is currently logged in now we have not implemented authentication and authorization yet in our application so currently i'm going to hard code the value so let's say the user id is manojha okay so for all the documents currently this id will be saved for created by okay later when we will implement authentication and authorization there we will set this created by with the logged in user who is trying to create a movie object okay so there might be multiple admins who can add movies to the database so in that case this created by will be assigned with that admins id who is creating that movie object currently i'm simply hard coding it and since we want this created by field in our data in our document we also need to specify it in the model so let me scroll up and after this price i will also specify another field called created by and it is going to be of type string with this let's save the changes again let me get another movie object so here i have created another movie object i'll also copy this one let's go to postman let me replace this request body with the new movie object which we have just copied and now let me make a post request so when i click on the send button here you see the status is success the movie name is plain and let's actually see the response body so if i scroll down you will also see that now we have this created by field and it is assigned with my id so what we have done here is we have updated this document just before it is being saved in the database if you go to mongodb compass now and if i refresh this collection now we should have 10 movie documents and if i scroll down you see the last movie document also has this created by field with this id all right so this is how we can execute a pre-hook on an event in this case we are executing a pre-hook a middleware function on the save event now if we want we can also do something after the document is actually saved in the database for that we need to call a post hook okay so just like pre-hook on this movie schema we can call post method for specifying a post hook here also first we need to specify the event the event is let's say going to be save and then we can specify a middleware function now this middleware function it is not going to have access to this keyword okay here we are going to receive the currently saved document i'll simply call it doc and the next method okay so this doc here is basically the document which has been currently saved in the database now in the post hook let's say we want to log the document name and the admin who has created that document in a log file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder i'll call it maybe log okay and inside this log folder i'm going to create a new file and i will call it log.txt 
Okay, and inside this log file, we are going to log all the actions which is being performed on the database. So let me close this server.js. Let's go to this movie model.js. And the first thing which we need to do is we need to import FS module. And then we are going to use this FS module inside this post hook. So here I will say FS dot write file sync. Let's specify the file path here. So we need to go one folder up from there. We need to go to this log folder and from there we want to go to this log.txt. Then here we need to specify the content which we want to write to the file. Okay. And here what we want is we want to append data. We don't want to override the content of the log.txt file. And to do that, we need to specify an object here. And here we can specify a flag and we can set it as A for append. And then we can also specify a callback function which will get executed if some error occurs. Okay, so for that, I will simply log the error message in the console. Now, what is the content we want to write to the log.txt file? Well, let's just create a variable. Let's call it content because that's what we want to write to the log file. And here, let's say I will use backticks here and we will say a new movie document with name and then here I will use template literal syntax and here we will specify the movie name so I can say doc dot name has been created by and then again I will use template literal syntax here and I'll say doc dot created by okay and after that I will simply add a line break so that the next log will be logged in the next line Let's go ahead and let's save the changes. Let's go to Postman. And before that, let me go ahead and grab the movie object which I want to add now. So here I have another movie object which I want to add to the database. I'll copy it. Let's go to Postman. Let's paste it in the request body. And let me go ahead and let me click on the send button. Let me first move it a bit down. So this is our movie, Black Adam. Let me click on the send button. Okay. It says no such file or directory. That's because this command line is running in the root directory, which is this project name. So from there, we need to go to this log folder and then to the log.txt file. So here we don't need to move one folder up from the root directory. We can go to the log directory and from there, we can log into this log.txt file. Let's try it once more. So let me save the changes here. Let's go back to Postman. And there what I will do is I will simply change this name to maybe test one. Because if you remember, we cannot add two movie objects with the same name. This Black Adams movie that has already been added in the collection. So now you can see we have 11 movie objects. And the last one is Black Adams. So we cannot add this movie again. So just for testing, what I have done is I have changed the movie name to test one. Let's try it out. When I click on the send button, here you see nothing is happening. That's because the request has been sent, but here we are not calling the next method. And because of that, the next middleware in the stack is not getting called. So here we also need to call the next method. Okay, let's save the changes again. Let's go back to Postman again. And again, this test one has been added in the MongoDB collection. Let me actually show you that. So now you can see we have 12 movie objects. And if I scroll down, the last movie object is basically test one. So again, let's change the name to test two. And let's make the request again. So here we have this response as success and we are getting this test two movie in the result in the response body. Now let's go back to VS code and let's check this log.txt file. And here you see, we can see two log messages logged here. So now what will happen is whenever we add a new movie object in our MongoDB database, this log file will be updated and it will show which new movie object has been added and who has actually added it. Okay. Let me close this log.txt file. All right. And finally, one more thing which you need to remember is that 
on the same hook we can call as many pre or as many post middlewares as we want for example for this save hook currently we are calling only one pre method but if we want we can call multiple pre methods for the same hook for this save here and we can write different logics there okay so all those logics will be executed before saving the document okay for example here we are adding three middlewares on the save hook so all these three logics will be executed before saving a document in the mongodb database collection and these three will be executed in the order in which we have defined it here in the code in the same way we can also have multiple post hooks currently we have only one post hook for this save but if we want we can have multiple post hooks for this save so you can also call this hook as pre save hook and you can call this hook as post save hook so this is all about document middleware of mongoose if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day